We're here to talk about the nervous system. Surprise! We're going to talk about special sensory systems. We're going to talk about the anatomy and the uh, neural pathways involved in receiving information from special sensory organs all through the nervous system. I hope that you've been noticing that we are seeing some repeating themes. And to start us off looking at special senses, we should probably distinguish between what makes a sense special and when is a sense not special. Except don't tell them that they're not special because everybody's special. Special senses are senses that are what? Received by special organs. And that's our topic today. We're spending the entire time talking about um, the special sensory organs that receive their, their organs as opposed to, okay, this will make it more clear, general senses. General senses are not specific. They're all over. Touch is a good example of a general sense. It's everywhere. You don't have a specific, like, you don't have the touch zone on your wrist that that's the only place that you have to, if you want to touch something, you have to touch it with that part of your wrist. You can actually feel pressure and contact all over your skin. However, uh, you cannot detect light anywhere except for your eyes. That's a special sensory organ. It's an entire structure. We'll learn the anatomy of the eye, the ear, the tongue, and the nose. These are the special senses that we're going to look at. As opposed to general senses, you know, most of the time general senses are essentially the dendrites of a neuron. Dendrites. And often they're specialized. So the uh, if you look at, we've got all sorts of different flavors here, and we're really not going to spend any time. Look at that cool looking thing. Look at this cool thing. Whoa, that thing's awesome. Look at this one. <gasps> There's so many different flavors. Don't you kind of want to go in and like learn all of them? I'm sure that you do. And just go to your book and then you can. But we're not going to focus this lecture on learning all of these different structures. We're going to focus the lecture on our special senses. When I say that there's two flavors of sensory information, I didn't say that there were two flavors of sensory information. I said there were two, like, anatomical structures when we're talking about the sensory nervous system. We can have special senses facilitated by our special sensory organs or general senses facilitated by general structures that are found all over. So, what are our two flavors that you already, hopefully, hopefully are very comfortable with? We have somatic sensory <clears throat> and visceral sensory. Here's the gig. You actually can categorize sensory fibers as either somatic sensory or visceral sensory. Unfortunately, when it comes to, when it comes to the motor system, there are anatomical characteristics of the neurons or the pathways that will tell us specifically, are we in visceral motor or are we in somatic motor? When it comes to sensory stuff, it just isn't that way. And a lot of the distinction between visceral sensory and somatic sensory is actually embryological. So a sensory structure will be classified as either somatic sensory or visceral sensory based on where it emerged during uh, growth inside your fantastic mother's belly. So we're not going to focus our energy on thinking about or arguing about is, is this sensory organ somatic sensory or visceral sensory. We're, I'm happy to do somatic sensory is conscious, things you're consciously sent, things you're consciously aware of, whereas visceral sensory is we're not aware of it. There's an argument with taste that, yeah, we're totally aware of taste, but there's an argument that it actually is arising from visceral sensory tissue. And so that's why if you see that around, you can go, oh, that's cool, and then know that 
you know, we're just not going to spend our time um, getting into those nitty gritty details. We're going to start out, we're going to look at four structures. We're going to look at four special senses, and we're going to look at the anatomy of the special sense sensory organ, and then we're going to look at the pathways, like the, the highways that the information travels on to get to the brain and what happens to it in the brain. All right, sound like a good plan? All right, on three, ready, break. <laughs> 